Notion recently released updates to their AI. If you want to work faster, spend less time searching for internal info, and stop having to bug your dev team every time you want a simple formula, you want to learn about Notion AI. Hi, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. Recently, Notion AI got a facelift, a new icon, and some pretty neat updates. But we all know how quickly tools jump on the AI bandwagon. So in this video, we're going to learn Notion AI. Is it just hype or is there substance? We'll look at what these updates mean for you and if Notion AI can help you and your business. This is a Teams Notion workspace and their hub for the day-to-day -day operations. So let's see how you could use the AI feature in your business. But first, how's it accessed? If you do not currently have access to Notion's AI, you may be on a Notion free plan. Those on a paid plan will have limited access to the AI feature. Now, to access Notion's AI, you'll want to head to your settings up here and then select billing. Here, the AI feature is offered as an add-on, which gives you complete access with unlimited responses. But what about the feature? Well, in this video, we're going to look at what the updates are, how you can use Notion AI in your business, and discuss, is Notion AI really worth it? If you already have access to Notion AI, you will notice their newly branded cartoon character down in the bottom right, which I am a fan of. You can directly access the AI feature here, or through the side panel on the left, or when using AI to create elements quickly by smacking the space bar, and prompting AI. Can you please, I'll be polite, generate a meeting agenda. And quickly, I have a meeting agenda ready to go that was formatted following my last meeting. But what about the updates you ask? Firstly, one of the standout improvements is the enhanced search functionality. Previously, you were only able to search the entirety of your workspace, but now you also have access to your other apps. That's right, you can now connect your Notion AI to your Slack and your Google Suite. Before, it would only search your workspace, but now it can find info from your Slack channels, your Google Sheets, your Google Docs, and your Google Slides. Just open the chatbot, select the meatball menu, and connect your apps. To connect your Google Suite, you will need a paid workspace with admin access. You'll see Notion AI in your Slack apps once successfully connected, just there. And it doesn't look like the connection prompt changes after success, so just ignore that, it's a bit buggy. Now, when searching for information, Notion AI will use your connected Slack channels and Google Drive, which is super powerful. And I have to say kudos to the Notion team for that. I know plenty of past clients that always struggled finding info on a project, a client, whatever it was. Did it belong in their workspace? Was it an old message that someone sent to them? Or was it a really old project proposal doc that they got this particular idea from? On top of this, you can also now filter which source Notion AI searches, which is a great improvement to the past search functionality. We can say find the company's mission, which is an easy one because it's right there. But if I want to find specifics, then I'll select the specific tracker and ask. Another update is that Notion AI relies on the knowledge of ChatGPT4 and Claude, giving users a more powerful, analytical, and improved language model. With access to both models, it gives you more flexibility and accuracy in your workflows. It's a significant upgrade, and I can see the results in the responses. Although, when I asked Notion AI which model it was using, it got defensive pretty quickly. Another mammoth update is the ability to analyze PDFs and images. The ability to analyze your documents and summarize key points allows you to quickly grasp essential details without having to dig through everything. So just Im imagine you are about to step into a meeting. You got sent over a project proposal, so you can upload it to Notion AI and then get a quick summary on the key points to discuss. Or you could create in Notion a new page from the PDF, which is pretty cool. Let's ask Notion to create a table 
of action items from the PDF as well. And there we have it. You could then, from this table, create a database and start assigning tasks to your team members. But even cooler than that is the ability for it to analyze images. Let me show you what I mean. I'll upload a random image from a trip to Machu Picchu. It isn't labeled Machu Picchu. I did that on purpose to really test its ability. Let's see. Waiting for it. And far out. It's able to pull this information from the image. But let me show you the image. It's a cloudy shot. You can't really see the iconic mountain in the back. And I did that on purpose. I wonder if it can pull the brand t-shirt. Love it. Now, this might... Be slightly hyped for you, but think about content teams. They now have a tool directly in their content manager that can quickly categorize images, generate descriptions, captions, and tags for SEO purposes, and suggest related content or pages that's linked through the image analysis. Think other notes, other pages, or other blog posts. The ability to easily upload an image and get Notion AI to then quickly review and provide you with a response is powerful. It could enhance organization and searchability for your team, especially for those of you who work with a lot of visual content or blog posts. Two updates that I was hoping would come with this release but didn't is the ability to create databases and the ability to edit databases. However, we can create simple tables and flowcharts then turn these into databases. I'll ask Notion to create a table with action items for a project launch project. Accept it. Then once that's created, just select the domino icon in the top left and turn it into a database. Easy. Now I could also ask it to visualize this prompt as a flowchart, which would be a helpful element to share with the team. Now, while we can't create databases, we can also pull in the responses from AI to a database. Specifically, let's ask AI instead of a table to create bullet point tasks. There we go. Then I can create a Kanban board. And this would work for lists, for tables, and other views. And then I just pull in those tasks. So that's a couple different ways to work around this limitation. So those updates are enhanced search functionality, ability to connect with your favorite apps, Slack and Google, and rumor is they'll be including other apps soon, and an improved language model, as well as analyzing PDFs and images. Now that we've looked at the updates, let's look at how you can use Notion AI in your business. Firstly, use it to help you write faster, whether that be blog posts, meeting agendas, SOPs, whatever get a head start using Notion AI. Here, I'll ask it to generate a new meeting agenda using both the old structured agenda and a specific page to discuss upcoming projects. That took me 30 seconds. Then I just jump in and trim the fat, fix any mistakes, and then share it with the team. Super easy, saving me quite a bit of time. Of course, we can also use Notion AI to search our workspace, but now with the recent releases, we can also search our Slack and Google Drive. AI will sift through all of it to deliver me a past meeting note or an SOP, a subtask, whatever it be, whatever I need. I can quickly search and then get back to my important work. Now, another cool way that I have been using Notion AI recently to help save me a ton of brain power and it has actually performed really well, is whenever I'm creating a formula field in a database. Rather than activating my hibernating and inexperienced dev brain, I just asked Notion AI to provide the formula for me. So I've got this database, projects and tasks, and here we have the priority field, which is currently being set manually. It's another step for me to do whenever a new task comes up. So instead, let's create a formula field so that when a task is seven days out from being due, the field displays urgent. When it's 14 days, high, and any other time, normal. So we'll ask Notion AI to create a formula for the formula field, of course, duh, 
to display urgent when a task due date is seven and high when 14 days, normal or other times. And it has given us this formula. So let's copy that, we'll close it, then edit the formula field. I'll just quickly rename it, paste that formula and ta-da, pretty quick. Now, this is going to be incredibly helpful for teams that lean too heavily on their devs and for those who don't really understand formulas but wanna jump in and visualize their data and manipulate it, super powerful. Plus, I've played with this creating a bunch of formulas and very rarely Notion AI gets it wrong. Unfortunately, while AI can be a great way to analyze data, Notion AI shows its limitation here. If we directly ask Notion AI to analyze a database, we don't receive a solid response. There are admittedly some limitations with Notion AI, but is it worth adding to your team's workspace? Well, it depends on how you would use it. For those that want to write faster, search internally without stress, and utilize the quick generation of formulas, absolutely it is. But is it a feature sent from the heavens that will solve all of your problems? And can you rely on it to become your one and only assistant? No, definitely not. However, I am excited for the next release and I imagine the team will continue to work on those limitations. If you need help automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team offer a free 30 minute consultation, so book yours today.